What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's PopyJN. Now first of all, before I get into this video, I need to say I'm really sorry that there wasn't a video yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, you know exactly what happened. But for those of you that don't follow me on those platforms, um, number one, why? <laughs> follow me on those platforms. But secondly, um, I had a video recorded to go up yesterday. It was a Gmod video, another police RP video. Um, and as it turns out, it, every time I was editing the video, it kept on freezing my entire computer and my computer would crash. And it turns out that all of the gameplay footage was massively corrupted. So I lost the entire footage at about 11 o'clock last night. So it's been an interesting one. But anyway, let's get into this. Welcome back to reading your comments. Let's jump into it. What is your best and worst game of 2018? Best game, hands down, had to be Spider-Man. Spy I'm a massive Spider-Man Batman fan, so Spider-Man was right up there for me. Worst game. Well, I, don't, I don't like saying worst game because people work hard on these games. So it, it's not really... I don't know, I don't like to shit all over someone else's work. What I will say is that this is the police too. I, I didn't think it was a terrible game, but I actually I felt like it could have delivered a bit more because it really did just feel like the same game over again. So I, I, I had a bit more high hopes for that, considering as well that This Is The Police was such a good series on the old channel when I had the old channel and people really liked it. I, I just felt like it, it could have been more. What are your best tips for life? Oh, wrong person to come to asking that. Does this look like it can help you with life? No, I, I think the best thing uh, that I could say for people going through life is do what makes you happy and surround yourself with people that make you happy. There's no point doing something you don't want to do or being stuck in a job that you don't want to be stuck in or, you know, this or that. And it's also important that you surround yourself with the right people. People that will kind of lift you up when, when you're down and kind of support you instead of people that just shit all over you. That's about as good as I can get. Can you play more GTA 5? Um, yeah, I'm considering it. I'm trying, I've been trying to get uh, the GTA RP servers going. Um, I actually, I just can't figure out how to get those going. So if anybody knows, please comment down below because I'd like to play some GTA 5 RP um, sometime in the future. Comments? Comments! Comments? Well, that was a roller coaster of emotion. I hope you're okay. Go clean your room! Do you like Nickelback? Let's skip that one. I've really gotten into Metallica recently and went to their concert in September. Oh, that's awesome. What's your favorite song by them? I actually love Metallica. I think that their music is brilliant. Um, I love Master of Puppets. Um, I used to be able to play that very well on guitar. I can't anymore. Um, but I also like Fuel. Fuel was actually pro- I think Fuel was the first song I ever heard for them. Uh, and it was in a video game soundtrack uh, for this Smash Up Derby game that I had on PlayStation 1 or 2. He looks like an elf! It's genetic, man! Leave him alone! If you could turn yourself into a video game character, which character would it be? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm probably... You know what? I'm a massive Uncharted fan. 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 I said fan. T-H-A-N. I'm a fan. Um, I'm a massive Uncharted fan, so I'd probably go with Nate Drake. Just because I like the character, I think he's a great character. Or I could go, I could go, if I want to kick some ass, maybe I could go Joel from The Last of Us as well. That could be cool. I don't know. I, I'd probably stick with Nate Drake though, because... He just seems like you would have a fucking great time. 
Although you're getting shot at and it's a little bit, uh, a little bit dangerous. I, I feel like you could have so much fun in that universe. So I would go with Nate Drake. Will you ever have one of your family members on the channel? I don't know about that. That's, um, that's up to them. That's up to them. I don't ask them and you guys will know when I, when I've done occasional vlogs, I deliberately keep them out of it. Um, because unless they offer to come and do a video with me, I don't want to invade their privacy and, and, uh, kind of jam a camera into their face. So I, it's up to them. I'm always open to the idea though. So I'm open to it, but it's got to come from them. I, I don't want to force them into something. Who would you say does a similar commentary style to you? Oh, that's a good question. Um... I think, at times, the highly edited stuff that I'm doing now is very reminiscent of Call Me Kevin. Um, just because I like that editing style and I was like, well, I want to partially do that, but I want my own spin on it. Which I, I think I'm hopefully doing. I hope I'm not just, it, do, it doesn't feel like I'm just copying him. But um, I hope I've thrown my own spin onto that style. Um, but in terms of the longer story-driven games where it's very calm and there's not, you know, a lot of screaming or jokes and shit, I'd say check out my skirm if you enjoy that stuff because Bob does really good content and he's a very chill YouTuber. So I'd say I'm a, mi I'm a mix between Call Me Kevin and my skirm in a weird way with my own flavor on top of it. What's a recent game you've played and really enjoyed? Oh, that's a good question. Um, what is a... I, I mean, I'm getting... As you guys all know, I'm playing the Arkham series. Um, and I've got to finish off Arkham Knight. But, um, the Arkham series I've been a fan of. Just because, uh... I played one of them and the other two I, I haven't had a lot of experience in. I've seen other people play, but, um... I'm just enjoying that series. Um, in terms of a new game... Um... I don't know, Spider-Man was good last year, as I said. Uh, finishing off The Walking Dead, actually. That was really meaningful to me. Because Telltale, and I've said this in a video somewhere before, I think. But Telltale were the first company that took an interest in my channel. So, and they were actually the first ones that offered to pay me to be able to play video games. So, I, I'm a massive fan of Telltale, and that was very... That was poetic for me because they kind of kicked my career off career career on youtube off um and kind of helped me get a few subscribers here and there so for me to be going you know out on the walking dead was was really cool because that was the first game i ever played i played season one of the walking dead uh in my own time because i wasn't on youtube so for me to be then ending my relationship with Telltale going out on The Walking Dead, that was really cool for me. When will you stop uploading? I could take this two ways. I could either take this as a hate comment, or I could take this as when am I planning on ending the channel? So I wanna, I wanna stick with the positive. I wanna give you the benefit of the doubt, person. So let's go, let's talk about that. Um, when will I stop uploading? Really, it's whenever you guys stop watching. Um, and even then I'd probably still continue. I mean, it was hard. It, this last year has been very hard for my channel. Anyone that's followed my channel knows how hard it's been. Because we went from, it was quite, it was 15 and a half thousand subscribers. And we we're getting, you know, a couple of hundred views every single video, which was lovely. But then, um, due to a couple of different things and different factors, the channel got demonetized 100%. So it meant I'm either just uploading on a channel that's never going to generate an income, which isn't the main thing for me. Like, I don't want people to think that my main thing for doing this is income. It's really not. Um, but it was either stay on a channel that was never going to progress anywhere further, or come over to a new channel and start all over again. And I chose to do that because 
I don't know. I I enjoy what I do for you guys here every day. So I, I wanted to keep it going and I didn't feel we could progress any further on that old channel. So um, the short answer is I'll stop when you guys stop watching. I went back and watched your first video and it's so different. Oh no. Why would you do that to yourself? My first videos on the old channel were so bad. So bad. I had a very shitty webcam that I was using off a laptop. And I was using a really shitty capture software called uh, screen o Um, Oh, they were terrible videos. I And my commentary was weird because I was like 13 years old. And I started off basically just copying everyone that was big at the time. So I copied a lot of Tobuscus, a lot of PewDiePie, and a lot of Markiplier. So if you watch my earlier videos, I basically did the exact same gags that all three of those guys were fucking doing in their videos. They were terrible, cringy videos. Um, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> That's my advice. I just want to know when are you going to make another reading your comments? There's always one. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. This was reading your comments. If you guys want to be featured in the next one, leave some comments down below. Leave your questions down below. But thank you, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Until next time, I'm YouTube's Popey JN. Peace out. The tip is all reading your every